Aries, what is going on, my dears? Keep it there, please. It is me, Ray. It is Shira. It is Vera. It is Scorpion. Red Tarot. I am back at it again, one time for the one time to go over what the energies are surrounding you for the month of August, 2020. Show me the monthly energy. Thank you to every last one of you guys who has clicked this video, who has liked, shared, and subscribed at any point in time. Um, as you know, if you guys want to book a personal private reading with me or if you want to send some support and love to the page, click my about tab on my YouTube page. My booking and pricing list is there. I do my video readings on Instagram. If you don't have Instagram, we do it on um, Google Hangouts. And the only thing we need to exchange to get on Google Hangouts and communicate with each other is our email. My email is scorpionrez at gmail.com. So if you guys have any questions or concerns, if you're on Instagram, contact me on Instagram. If you do not have Instagram, email me at scorpionreds at gmail.com um, again thank you to every last one of you guys who's been sending any type of donations um, who's been booking readings been donating decks um, that we have here I appreciate especially during COVID thank you guys so much for the support if you guys would like to send love and support to this page if these videos resonate and help you in any type of way and you want to send love or like I said donate a deck or whatever it is that you would like to do you can check out the um, options on the about tab as well so let's get into this energy we want to say a quick prayer over the energy first Father God, I thank you so much for bringing us here for the sign of Aries. You know, just keep us right there, please, Father God. We are right there, right close to you, Father God. We have been diligent in regards to change and making sure that we're moving in the right direction. Um, when I was recording this video earlier, I literally seen like the land before time. Uh, seen in my head where it's like these four or five friends that, that's been lost from their family or lost from what was normal to them and it's like this this place that has all of this fresh water all of these resources the whole thing was about fresh water that i was getting um did you trying to get to this land with new big trees lush grass and fresh water so you guys have been moving in a new direction you guys have been moving and leaving a lot of things behind you know the land before time you know so um i feel a big migration coming for you guys and um when it's time to leave just be ready to pack up and move don't ask any questions and just be ready to go on this journey it seems like you got company with you um y'all got each other's back and this place isn't fictitional. It is very, very real. And it's very, very abundant. And it's very, very blessed. You know, so I just want you guys to don't be scared to go on a journey. Don't be scared to move on to a destination and to reach for something that you've never seen before. You've never tasted it. You know what I'm saying? Like a lot of people have truly never been happy before. Um, but just because you stand in a place where you're not comfortable and it's normal to you doesn't mean, you know, that you should stay there. It's time to get abnormal then, okay? So, Father God, we thank you so much for just putting the blessings over our life and just, you know, helping us love ourselves and love each other. In the name, Father God, give us guidance for the sign of Aries. August 2020, show me the money energy. Amen. Let's get into it. So you guys, I'm going to quickly do a shuffle and lay some cards face down. And then we're going to break it on down. You hear me? You hear me? So I did just record this video and then I got interrupted by a call. And that Virgo in my chart, honey, it just would not allow me to post anything with any type of... Uh, <laughs> interruptions in it anymore so um basically the energy in that reading it was like you guys are praying for something what's this the queen of wands okay it's like you guys are praying for something and it's like you're on this voyage for this sweet nectar this happiness this growth like this fictional place that you've always heard of but never seen never touched never seen pictures of but it's like if it at all could possibly be real, I want to go. And you see like how this woman is calling. You see she got the little light on. She's calling. Hello. Why about it? I'm hearing Amber. I'm hearing Amber. Amber. I don't know why. Like is this someone's mother or someone 
calling someone named Amber. She's like looking for somebody named Amber. And she's got the light out. I don't know. Okay, so I feel like this is someone's grandmother. This is someone's mother. There's some girl named Amber that likes to sit out side i don't know if that's like you have a rose garden in your yard or something like that or you just like to sit on your porch or whatever in the sunlight even in the night it's like in the roses to me it's like someone is fantasizing about love i feel like this is someone's i don't want to say ancestor but it's like you know someone's like family member looking for this person that it's like love struck and it's like trying to see if like this person's going to come home tonight and it's like you're not coming home. I don't know if you guys been boo loving, if you guys normally live with your parents or something like that. And you guys haven't been home because I want to say that you guys are in love and it's like whatever this 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 is, it's like you've been sitting in this rose bush like in pure ecstasy or something. It's like, are you coming back home? Are you about to move out? Like, what are you doing? Can you call me back? Um, yeah. I feel like in that instance, like, you could just call your parent back and let them know what you're going to do. Because I feel like you keep your parent up waiting because all of a sudden... You were at home, everything was what it was, and now all of a sudden you're out all of the time, and it keeps your parent up waiting. And it's like if you're going to be boo loving or do whatever you want to do, do it, but just be responsible and just tell your parent what you're doing so, like, you don't have them worrying. All right, so let's get into this, you guys. So, as we can see, we already got the Queen of Wands energy right here. So, that's the Aries, uh, Sagittarius, Leo energy right here. Um, this could you this could be you looking for your child and trying to figure out if they're coming home or not but I'm really not taking it as that I'm taking it as if someone's looking for you to see if you're going to come back if you're going to come back okay let's flip this over here we got the knight of wands we got the king of, the queen of wands calling the knight of wands so this could be very much so like a woman calling after her son like her son is always I like the the Knight of Wands is always out riding around, like, chasing their passions, chasing their lust for life. Like, always has, like, some type of bright idea or something that they're intrigued with at the time. And it's like, motherfucker, are you coming home tonight? Because if you gonna go, I really want to say it's like, there's an Aries that's been spending so much time out that this woman has been... I don't know if this woman is another Aries, uh, another Leo, a Sagittarius, but she's very much so been looking for you and want to know, are you staying out or are you coming in? Because I don't think that she, she's not leaving the, what, 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 what did they say, leave the light on or some shit like that? She's not leaving the light on. She's not staying up to make sure that you get in this house. So wherever you're going tonight, and again, you see him with them red roses, guns and roses and shit like that. So it's like... If that's what you're doing, if you you gonna spend your time out, make sure that you find some place to stay for the night because you're not gonna be running in and out of my house, and I'm not gonna keep looking for you, calling you, asking you, do you wanna go home? The underworld, the underworld. So like this is basically saying like this is someone that likes to live. I'm not just saying like seedy hotels and like little shit like that. Like okay, this is someone like you could catch like you listen. <laughs> Now I'm here, Aaron Nelly, you can catch me on the something, the rolling no dubs. <laughs> what is that song? <gasps> Going down, down, baby, your street in a rage, rubber, boom, 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 baby. I ready to let it go, chibi, chibi, cocoa, what? Listen to it, pal. Light it up and take a puff, pass it to me, gal. Going down, down, baby, your street in a rage, rubber, boom, boom, baby. I'm <laughs> serious, come on. Young, I'm so serious. I'm why is he giving me guns and roses? Whoever this young man is, I want to 
say, and this is someone in like their late 20s, early 30s. This is not someone that's like, at the most, I can say like this person may be like 38. They're not 40. You know what I'm saying? They're not 40. This is someone a little bit older than this person. Or someone that is more mature than this person. And this man likes to ride around Yo Street in the Range Rover. Okay? He likes to go down, down, baby. And I want to say that this person lives a lifestyle that I want to say is seedy. You know? It's like... Whenever this person comes into your town or they ride around and like everyone is so excited like this person is the life of the party. They like guns, sex, drugs, rock and roll, all this. I mean, you do have the underworld right here. So we have to call the thing a thing. You know what I'm saying? Like this person, when they come into your life, they come into your life with a big bang. It's like this person lives off the big bang theory. If I ain't coming through this motherfucker to shake things or fuck it up and change the whole existence, what the fuck is the point of me being around? You know what I'm saying? Like this person comes and reshapes people's lives. And like the Knight of Wands is not something or someone that's going to be around forever because I'm sorry, I want to say that this person is like a low life, you know? No offense, the underworld here. This is someone that likes to live in their state of darkness and they thrive in it and they're good at it. This could be a, someone that is like a very sexual person. This could be someone that has a sexual addiction. That's why I say CD Hotels is like they don't have no qualms about going to a hotel or motel for like an hour or two and go fuck and come bring that dick back home to Big Mama that's out there looking for him. You know what I'm saying? So, I I just, like, mm, I hate that this reading kind of went this way, but I gotta call a thing a thing. Let's see what's going on here with the life purpose. Trust. So, in regards to your life purpose, Aries, like, I feel like this Aries woman right here, trust what your instincts is telling you, baby. Like, you know... That this person thrives in this underworld. You know that. You like. You know that this is what this person likes to do. This is how you met them. You know what I'm saying? It might have been even intriguing and fun to you in the beginning. But it looks like you're grown now. Like you just really don't have no time to be trampling along in the gutter. Trying to find out where your nigga is at. You see what I'm saying? Like that's really what I'm getting. It's either that or it's your son. You see what I'm saying? And it's like. I'm stressing myself trying to. Keep calling after this person and, you know, trying to take care of someone that truly just wants to run around and have fun. So if this person wants to gallivant, I'm going to let him gallivant because I'm not, I'm, I'm closing the door to this underworld. That's what I'm getting. And it looks like with this crystal ball here, it's like you guys have been really, really, you've been, and remember in the other reading, it was saying something about the prayer. It was saying something about the prayer and the sweetness and the nectar that you're getting out of your constant dedication. It was the prayer, the ring and the nectar. So it's like you're learning to instead of paying those dividends into someone else, you're putting that energy into yourself and you're learning to trust your intuition with this crystal ball right here. The crystal ball is like a gateway to source. You know what I'm saying? So it's like. You're tapping into like spiritual energy on a different level. And it's like, man, I got God right here, right with me, man. I trust what God is leading me to do. You know what I'm saying? If it's saying, all right, let, let this motherfucker know one more time. Hey, if you ain't back tonight, you won't be back tomorrow. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? If you're not back tonight, you will not be back tomorrow. They want to go, let them go. Listen, trust your feelings and dreams to guide your path and your career. And then the, the Queen of Wands is someone who is very passionate. She is someone who is very creative. She is someone that ain't going to miss a step fuck around with nobody. You understand? She's the leader. She's the one that people come to to get a certain energy and drive and influence in regards to things. So it's like, I got to trust what I'm doing and where I'm going in my life. I can't keep calling after other people worrying about what the fuck is going on with them. Listen, right next to the Knight of Wands, you have the snake. I told you. This person is fun. This person is sexy. Might have a very, very big... Um, yeah. You understand what I'm saying? Snake. Okay? Might have a very big snake. 
and he enjoys himself and he enjoys his time with you but at the same time like this person is for the world this person lives in the underworld do you understand this person is for the world and you need to see that and it's like you know the more and more that you allow this person to come into your personal space they're dirtying up with, with all of that shit that this person ain't even wipe their feet off on the rug before they walked into your house like this person slithers around and is in and out this says competition enemy clever malicious look over your shoulder the other woman boom so if you wonder where this person is at and what they're doing listen they going down down baby your street in the range rover listen i'm serious what is this the death card we had the death card in the other reading as well so it's like trust your intuitions and what you're feeling and what you know you need to do with this person this person is not loyal this person doesn't commit himself this person is just there while the getting is good you know because this person has other things to do this person has other options and as it looks like you're turning your back on this person, this snake, it doesn't matter how handsome or attractive, sexy this person is. It doesn't matter how good the sex is. It looks like you're recognizing this person for who they are. And you're turning your back on them and you're cutting them out because it's like, I've been through this back and forth, in and out thing for way too long. I have to trust what my emotions and my intuition and, t and not only that what god is telling me i'm the one that came to god i wanted to know the truth this person is a fucking low life and i'm better than that i'm better than that i'm way more pulled up than any of them bitches i'm not gonna compete for nothing or nobody i will just cut you the fuck out of my life and i'm gonna keep on going what is this the engagement ring in the reverse so this is basically saying that again this person was non-committal this person does not offer true love to anyone they might offer a good time but no commitment there was no commitment being offered here like i said this person is clever they know how to say what they need to say to get you to feel comfortable so that they can get what they want be in and out enjoy their time with you and go on to the next you know what i'm saying and they'll be back in a little bit you see what i'm saying but they're not offering any true commitment here you know and i realize that that is what is important to you. And I don't think you want to dirty yourself up being in this underworld energy and dealing with people that live in this low vibrational energy. What is this here? Listen, stab in the back in the reverse. It's like you're trusting what you're feeling. You're not allowing this person to be in and out and it continue to hurt you. This is over. You are trusting yourself and you know what you got to do. Listen, the five of swords is right here as well. So it was like, listen... This motherfucker self-sabotage. It's like whoever this person in this night of bonds is self-sabotaging every fucking thing and everybody that they come in their path. It's like this person creates a world of enemies around them because it's like they just ride around with their magic stick. You know, they're thinking they this shit. They think that they're attractive. They think that they are the top commodity amongst every and all. And they think that they can come and do whatever the fuck they want to with no repercussions and no, you know, no repercussions. It's like this person's malicious in intent. You know what I'm saying? This person comes and takes what they want and leaves what they don't. And they're going to deal with you as long as they want to deal with you. And when they want to cut you off, they don't give a fuck. They don't care about your feelings. They don't care about your, they don't care. They do not care. If you don't care about your self-worth, they don't care about it. Low-life individuals, guns and roses. Straight up. Straight up. And then, like, the five of the five of swords in the reverse is, like, this thing is being, like, exposed to you in a very hurtful way. Like, this person could be, like, callously, like, telling you that they don't give a fuck about you. That they was just there to get what they want. Um... You allowed them to take it. You allowed them to do whatever they did to you. So it don't matter. Or like you already knew what it was. Like I'm just trying to come through and give you some dick. Like you already know I fuck with other women. And this wasn't. You know what I'm saying? And this, this could be like some information or something. That as you see like this person just wanted everything all to themselves. And you walk away completely empty. Like this is like a robber of your time. Of your. You know what I'm saying? Like this person took your influence and. 
all of the stuff that was just greedy and just went and carried it off to other people. You know what I'm saying? So it's like you could have met this person at a low time in their life and they could have came and sucked off on your energy, got all your sweet nectars and juices. And instead of committing themselves to you, they went and rolled off and took all of that good positive energy that you did and gave it to someone else, to the other woman. And that's why it's like you might be calling after this person like, um, what the fuck is going on? This person don't rolled off. This person is a low life. This person had ill intentions. You see what I'm saying? This person was just around the fuck. And it does feel like this person betrayed you. Because it's like I, I invested. I invested in you. And you stole everything. Like this can be like someone that took all of the information that you gave them. And could have went and started a company with someone else. And completely backstabbed you. And just like don't give a fuck about it. You know what I'm saying? Like we'll flaunt it in your face. And tell you oh yeah you's a stupid bitch. You let me do it. You know so like. Mm -mm. You gotta cut these type of individuals out. What is this here? This is the chaser in the reverse. Stop chasing after people. The longer and longer that you lay there. And then you allow them to do this and if this is you the chaser stop chasing after this per stop calling after this person don't worry about if they're going to come home you don't want them to come home i wouldn't want you to want them to come home you're bigger than this you're better than this you're way more pulled up than this you understand what i'm saying this person is only going to hurt you in the long run because of the energy that they serve they serve the underworld Sex, drugs, and rock and roll. Feeding their ego. Low vibrational tantrums. They don't get what they want. They're off to the next. They don't give a fuck about you. You gotta give up and stop calling after this person. What is this? The Cupid's arrow. That's why you call it like this person got you. You understand? Emotionally, that's why you got that red on you. It's like, you know, hold on. Uh, now, now I'm hearing on uh, Monica. Cause I got love all over me. And baby, you touch every part of me. I don't know the, the words. Oh, I got love all over me. And I just can't. I don't know. Whatever the fuck she said in that shit, like, that's what I'm getting. It's like, you got love all over me. And it's just like, this person just came in and just came and just slid out. And it's just, it's just trying to tell you, baby, trust what you're feeling. Don't chase after anybody. There's other people. This, this person it's not for you. You know what I'm saying? Just period. I don't I don't know what else to tell you, baby. You got to trust your intuition. And whatever the fuck this person left with, let them keep it. Whatever it was that made you attracted to them anyway, let them take that. You understand? And you reinvent yourself to something new where you don't even like operate on this paradigm with idiots like this. You know what I'm saying? Like you need to sage you need to sage because people like this are only going to end up hurting you and hurting everybody around them. And they don't care. So, Aries, I love you. I hope you guys received this message. And like I said, the death is here. Cut out the old, bring in the new. So, peace.